in this video I'm going to continue on kinematics now this is an example if you remember the previous videos uh, I talked about uh, the common convention in kinematics how do you understand positive and negative velocity how do you understand acceleration and so on so in this question uh, in this video I'm going to do two examples of kinematics. Okay, the question is S is equal to T squared minus 15 T plus 30. The first question is calculate V when T is equal to zero. So you remember S stands for distance and V stands for velocity. So the question is if a body is moving and the equation of that body uh, of distance with respect to time or distance as a function of time is this you can understand this is a parabola like I'm not going to the graph of it so the question is you want to find velocity when t is equal to zero so what do we know okay velocity is change in distance over change in time in calculus, we're talking about instantaneous velocity, so we can say it is ds over dt. So that means what's the change in distance when dt, which is almost zero, what's the change in distance when the change in time is almost zero? That is instantaneous velocity. So I've done the working here. So we know that v, v is equal to ds by dt. So if we differentiate this, s with respect to t drop the power down and decrease the power by one so this is pretty simple 2t minus 15 so s was a function of time now v has become a function of time so i can say v as a function of time is 2t minus 15 so the question is what is v or what's the velocity of the object at time equal to zero so what you have to do is you have to put t as 0 in this equation. So if you put t is equal to 0, zero 2 times 0 minus 15 is minus 15 meters per squared. Now, you may wonder what does this velocity, negative velocity, mean? If you remember the last video, I told you neg negative velocity. Negative velocity means the object is moving to the left or downwards. Okay, so or back to the origin. So, so that's what I've written here. So, what does that mean? It means the object is moving to the left or downwards. I'll show you this on a calculator to explain what does this negative means. Okay. Okay. So this is the equation x squared minus 15x plus 30. Now this is on the table menu. I'll go, I'll show you. This is the table menu. Go to table menu. Type in this equation. And then you go and uh, go to your setup. And if you scroll down, you have an option of derivative. The derivative has to be on. So it can be off. By default it is off. You have to turn it on. And then go exit. And then go to your set. I've gone from 0 to 10. Okay, now go to table. When time is 0, the object is 30 meters away from the origin. Yeah, this is, the equation is, y is your s and your x is your t. Okay. So yeah, this table, what does this mean? At time 0, the object is 30 meters away from the origin. And this is the derivative. Or this is ds by dt. That is negative 15 tells me the object is moving downwards. I'll show you on the graph. So if you go to graph and uh, I have to do this and then I'll have drawn the graph. Now the graph is going like this. Can you see the graph? So at time 0, this is time 0, this is 30 meters above the origin but the object is going down and that's why it has a negative velocity okay this negative doesn't mean it is small 
this negative means this is going down that object is moving down okay now if you come here the velocity becomes zero okay whatever the time is at that this particular time the velocity is zero in this interval the velocity is negative that means it's going down this is see your y-axis is your distance and your x-axis is your time so this is a function of distance to time so at time zero it is 30 meters above the origin but it's going down okay so as it is above the origin the distance would be positive but the velocity would be negative because it's going down when you come here the distance would be negative and the velocity will also be negative when you come here the velocity is zero okay and when you come here if you come here the distance would be positive and the velocity would always also be positive that means if you draw a gradient at this point the gradient of that line would be positive whereas here if you consider at time zero if you draw a gradient at that if you draw a gradient sorry if you draw a tangent at that point the gradient of that tangent would be negative 50. I hope it is clear. So this is what it means that the gradient is negative. Sorry, that the velocity is negative. That means the object is moving to the left or downwards. In this case, I've shown you it's moving downwards. So we know from the graph, because the object at time zero is going downwards, the velocity is negative 50. Okay. Now, next is an interesting question. What's the velocity when time is equal to zero? Just let me bring the graph here. Yeah. See, the time is equal to zero. Sorry, time is equal to 10 would come somewhere here. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, somewhere here. Okay. I hope. Okay, the velocity would be positive here. Okay. So, let me find. Okay, let me go back to my table menu and uh, I'll show you what does that mean. We got the answer, but we want to make sense of the answer. Uh, table. So at time 10, or uh, 10 seconds, you can see it is down. Negative means it is below your x-axis. But your gradient is dy or ds by dt is positive. That means going upwards. Okay. So the answer we know, so let us do it. So d, dv by dt is the same, that is 2t minus 15. And the question is, when t is equal to 10, what is your v? So I put v as 10. So if you put 10, 2 times 10 is 20 minus 5 is 5. So my answer is 5 meters per second. I'll continue uh, doing one more example in the next video. Thank you.